What's going on YouTube? Today, I am taking you through the secret to gaining five miles per hour of club speed instantly. It only takes this one move. Stay tuned, let's get faster together. The number one move that you need to do more efficiently is drop the hands into the slot. Let me show you what that looks like. Naturally speaking, most people, even with good golf swings, still have a tendency to slightly come over the top in this motion, and that's killing your speed gains. We need to drop this club into the slot, which holds lag, and make sure to put all the speed at the ball versus losing it at the top. You only have to be fast at the golf ball. You don't want to be fast in your entire swing. So there's a few ways to actually do this. One is by quite literally feeling like you're pulling a rope down and dropping your hands in the slot. Now, with this being said, and I just said that's the first feel, I'm going to give you three different feels and three different ways that you can actually apply this to get the hands in the slot because everybody's golf swing is different, so every feel needs to be different in order to actually produce what you need to to instantly gain that speed. So like I just said, feel one is quite literally pulling down with the hands, dropping them into the slot. From here, you're in a position to succeed. You can swing as fast as you can. If you start casting the club, throwing it over the top, or aren't giving the hands enough time to actually get down into the slot, you're putting too much speed at the top of your swing, you're not letting your shaft load properly, and you're not utilizing your golf shaft to snap at the ball and put all the speed at the golf ball. So what that looks like in fast motion is you get all the way up to the top, pull the hands down into the slot, like pulling a rope straight down, and then putting all the speed into it. So it looks like this. One more time very smooth and efficient now some people don't have a lot of feel in their hands they feel too handsy in that case they might be trying to pull the rope this way this way and it's just not being efficient so here's a second way that you can do the exact same thing to get the hands into the slot with a little bit different of a feel so the second method for this of getting the hands into the slot is actually founded in the hips. This is for people typically that are more arm dominant and have slower hips. What that looks like is when you get to the top of the backswing, naturally speaking, when people are arm dominant, they're gonna be trying to swing with their arms and they're moving it in this way. Exactly what I was talking about when I'm saying throwing it over the top, casting it, it's not good. You're using your shoulders, using your arms, you're throwing this club over the top, losing speed, even if it's ever so slightly. We need to make sure we get the hips involved in the swing. So what that looks like is once we get to the top, starting your transition with your hips actually. Now it's not gonna look as separated as that. It's not gonna look like a two piece swing where it's here, hips, and then arms. That looks really funky. But people with slow hips, you have to feel like that's actually what it looks like. So again, moving the hips first, once you get the hips going, it's a lot harder to throw it over the top because everything's already moving this way and the arms naturally drop into the slot. So this is a way without feeling your arms, you can actually produce the same thing of getting the arms to drop in the slot and then delivering at the ball. In fast motion, it looks very smooth. It looks fluent like this. So you can see in that one that my hips open slightly earlier than they do in the first set of swings but it produces the same outcome of my hands dropping into the slot. That's the most important aspect of this whole thing, basically. The third and final way to actually produce this feel and get your hands into the slot results from your shoulders. Now, your shoulders work like a gear in a golf swing. They work vertically. They're working this way versus this way. The second you start working your shoulders horizontally, you're leading to this type of swing. It's over the top, it's down in the ball, and it's not optimal. What we need you to do is start getting your left shoulder to go up and back. Think like a top or a gear. If you have a gear set up and you wanna spin that gear really hard, that's what your shoulders are doing. They're working this way really, really fast and very efficient, which drops the hands into the slot and makes you deliver speed at the golf ball. So what that looks like in your swing, you can get up to the top, and instead of thinking, again, pull the rope, instead of thinking, clear the hips so that they're in the slot, you can actually think, how can I get this shoulder to go this way? Because that's ultimately what you need. If the hands are outside the golf ball, it's impossible for the shoulder to go this way. It would be going this way. In fast motion, it looks like this. And you can actually see from that, there's an added 
<laughs> benefit to the angle of attack because you're instantly getting more behind the golf ball, staying behind the golf ball to have better launch, better spin, and better optimization in your swing in general. So those are the three ways you can implement the same technique to actually gain a bunch of club speed very efficiently and very fast. You just have to feel it out, try all three, see which one resonates the most with you to lead to a better feel. Now, go get your speed toad because you can practice doing these techniques without using the ball. Go to www.thespeedtoad.com, link in the description down below. Anyways, I hope this helps you gain speed instantly. If you want more of this content, remember to like and subscribe. Till next time, guys, see you later.